Hi there, this is Jeff from Advanced Web Solutions. Going to show you quickly today how to flush your DNS settings on your PC and your Chrome browser, or whatever browser you're using. So without further ado, let's get started. So the official code you'll need to flush your DNS is ipconfig spacebar forward slash flush DNS, which I'll highlight as follows. We'll be adding this code to the uh, command prompt window, which can be accessed first by going down to the left-hand bottom part of the screen where you can go into the window search bar. We're going to type in CMD for command and you'll see that the command prompt option is here. Keep in mind that you do have to run this as an administrator for that to work. If it's not, then it won't give you privileges or access. So we're gonna click on the command prompt icon here and open it up. So zooming in closer to that same window, we're gonna take that code we had highlighted. We're gonna copy that. And in the blinking cursor section of command prompt, we're gonna click control V to paste it in and click enter. If you were successful, you will get this highlighted message, successfully flushed a DNS resolver cache, which is great, mission accomplished. So although it's good to know how you flush your DNS settings, it's equally important to understand why and in which circumstances you need to do it. So let's go over some of the top reasons right now. If you're seeing older versions of a website and not the most up-to-date version, even after long periods of time, this will reset your browsers to the latest info available. As a web designer, if you're migrating your name servers over to a new host and the new website still isn't showing up, even after many hours or days, flushing your IP address is a good idea. If you've temporarily lost your internet connection and are having trouble restoring it, even after many hours, a DNS flush can help. It prevents DNS spoofing or cyber attacks where hackers will replace your IP address with their own and point them to malicious websites, which you definitely don't want. And it can improve your internet and browser speed by making sure all your IP data is up to date and not slowing your website performance down in any way. If you found this tutorial informative or helpful, please leave us a like or subscribe to our channel for more videos coming soon. Also, let us know your thoughts on today's topic in the comments below. Your feedback is always appreciated. Thanks for watching.